a week already. Since when has his divination ever been right? Let's just go. The divination is accurate. The one will come soon. I know it. Hm. Madam, you've been saying that for a week now. Just wait. The prophecy is true. There will come a warrior, inflicted with a scar of the Black Rose. <sighs> Another dead end. Please, wait! The divination! Enough! This is pointless. We waited a whole week on this. Uh, is some hero going to fall out of the sky now? No. Uh. Huh? Uh, what? This is the huh. one? Look shabby. This is the one! Huh, Madden actually did it. Ah, what do you know? Enough talk, let's get right down to it. Did it not work? It's not that. The body can endure no more. The Black Rose runs too deep. Then what now? We will see. First a trip to Dragon Scale would do. Already? But... We have no time to lose. Well, what doesn't kill you does make you stronger. Or so they say. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Who knows? You can now ride Dragon Pulses. Let's see if you have what it takes to be a hero. Welcome, warrior. Pandehe sent me a pigeon saying I should expect you. Are you caught up on the situation? It's awful. Pandehe had that letter from Guan. Did you read it? Nekuro is planning an attack on Jadestone Village. That, and the letter's odd. Consider this. The guard blankets this area. No one can get past. But if that's true, then how did the Black Ram get the letter through? Maybe they sent the letter via carrier pigeon or crow. Sure, that's possible. Personally, I think it was a spy. On my way, I heard Bumbok crying about his 17 wives or some nonsense. When I ran over, he was being pummeled by several Dusk Adders. After a few blows, I chased the rest of the Adders away. They ran and left with Bumbok's bag. I can't believe I didn't notice. It turns out Bumbok was delivering a vital letter from the captain. I'm checking here. Can you look around the Adder's nest? That letter might be right under our noses.
Mmm, awesome. These mushrooms are perfect. You could eat them raw, put them in a stew, roast them. Okay, sheesh. Well, it was a few nights ago. I was on my way to the outhouse. And right there in the dark, I saw a bamboo guard using a carrier crow to send a letter. And I knew it was wrong, because only the black ram uses crows to send letters. I tried to sneak away, but the man caught me. He grabbed my throat. Then he said that if I told anybody, he would kill me and all the monks in the monastery. Bumbuck! I swear! It was Uncle Bumbuck! You are a great warrior, aren't you? Look alive, warrior. Captain Dochen is here looking for you. Did you learn anything from the monk child? What? Bumbuck? Mushin's fist! Only he would be so foolish to dare betray the guard. We'll find Bumbuck if we have to turn over every rock on this island. Hurry and tell Captain Dochen the news. Go! We have no time to waste. <laughs> You've been on a spy hunt, or so I've heard. Anything to report? Bumbuck. When we battled Wang Sam, I knew something didn't fit. But it is still difficult to hear. We must find Bumbuck. Our war with the Black Ram is balanced on the edge of a knife. We cannot allow Bumbuck to tip that balance. The Dusk Adder activities and the recent attacks are connected. And Bumbuck might be the key to solving it all. If he's gone into hiding, he would stay close to the Black Ram fleet. I suggest you investigate the lair of the Yute to the southwest. The Yute have long been in league with the Black Ram. Heavens be with you.
Jion, Black Ram have taken Nam So Yu from Bamboo Village. Fiends, take me! I should have been there! They made fools of the guard, a fool of me. But how did they know when I would leave Bamboo Village? How? There is only one explanation. There has to be a second spy. Someone who knew exactly when I would be away from the village. I must return immediately. Banyao will tell you what he knows. I must go. I leave the rest in your hands. Continue the fight, Jian. They came out of nowhere. The Black Ram knew our patrol routes. They knew when we changed shifts. Before we even knew what was happening, they had taken Nam So Yu. I remember one of the men calling him Lieutenant Wong Sum. He was huge. Really? Master Doden tried to stop him. But Wong Sum picked him up and slammed him down, hurting him badly. Oh, this is a nightmare. I'm sorry. You're right. We have to focus on Lady Nam So Yu's rescue. Captain Dochen sent an advance force to Sentinel Coast, ahead of the planned invasion of the South Fleet. We'll drive the Black Ram off for good. Talk with our forces on the Sentinel Coast, and see what assistance they require. You could make all the difference. I'm counting on you. I was told to expect you, warrior. A pigeon just arrived with the news about Lady Nam So Yu. Things are getting out of control. Where is Captain Dochen? Understandable. But that leaves us in a bad spot. The assault on the Black Ram South Fleet will be impossible as it is. And now with that traitor Bumbach on the loose, months of preparation could be ruined. Who knows what other secrets he's given away? One thing's for sure, we can't attack unless we know exactly where Nam So Yu is being held. We can't risk her being hurt, or worse. I'm glad I can count on you. My plan to find Nam So Yu is to use the Black Ram's communication system against them. We know that the Black Ram South Fleet often uses carrier crows to send messages to the marauders on the Sentinel Coast. Make your way to the carrier post near the coast and retrieve the latest message from the leg of the crow. It's a long shot, but it could tell us more about Nam So Yu's location. If we intercept that letter, we'll know just where Nam So Yu is inside the South Fleet compound. Got it? Be discreet. The success of this mission is crucial. Hold still! No match for me!
Let's see. Yes. The information is better than we could have hoped. This contains a guard schedule for the place they've taken Nam So Yu. Lady Nam So Yu is inside the flagship of the Black Ram South Fleet. Now we know her precise location. I will immediately send word to Captain Dochen. For now, my orders are to maintain position and wait for the captain and for reinforcements. Outside of that, our immediate need is weapons. We've commissioned the forge keepers for swords, but damned if they can make their delivery deadlines. Apparently, some forge keeper higher up has arrived on the coast. Bojimu, his name is. Find him and give him hell about those weapons. I know I can depend on you. Who are you? Are you with the Bamboo Guard? I'm sick of you people. So Munbu says the Forge Keepers are not delivering what they promised. Nonsense. We delivered the swords all right, but apparently the blades aren't up to the Bamboo Guard's so-called high standards. They want our blades to cut through the hide of Stonebiter Brutes. <laughs> what ordinary blade does that, may I ask? We were forced to make the blades all over again, using blue iron from the Silver Frost Mountains. Ah, oh, but don't worry, I'm adding a hefty premium to the cost. Now I just need to prove these new swords can cut through Stonebiter hide. This place is thick with the beasts, but I'm not exactly a blade master. So if you're looking for something useful to do, fetch me some chunks of Stonebiter hide for our final test. Well, what are you waiting for? Our swords are exceptional. You're back, and I see you have plenty of test samples. Excellent. This will be enough to prove that Forgekeeper blades have no equal. You may want to return to Somunbu at the outpost. A messenger of his was yelling about something or other. I forget what. These blades will fetch quite a hefty price. Did you take care of the weapons? Good. But unfortunately, we have an even bigger headache. Dodan has snuck into the South Fleet. He's trying to rescue Nam So Yu. Dodan thinks he can order guards around and play hero just because he's Dochen's boy. Now our entire assault might be in jeopardy, not to mention Lady Nam So Yu's safety. We've run out of time. I have to rally our forces here and prepare the attack. In the meantime, infiltrate the Black Ram South Fleet. You must ensure Lady Namsuyu's safety, and hopefully prevent Dodan and his guards from ruining everything we've planned. What a... Warrior! Shh, quick, come over here! Please, keep your voice low. Word of this hasn't even reached Bamboo Village. Can I trust you to keep this secret? Good. But listen carefully. Captain Dochen himself is leading a small group of veteran guards into the heart of the South Fleet. He dropped everything to come here. Captain Dochen is tracking a man. At least, I think he's a man. I saw him at the Bamboo Lighthouse. He's huge. He's a mountain. This giant saw me as I was making my rounds. He stared a hole right through me. I thought I was dead on the spot. 
But he wasn't looking for me. He was looking for someone else. I reported back to Captain Dochen, and he ordered us to track the strange giant down at once. It wasn't hard to follow his trail. Death followed him wherever he went. The giant crossed over into Songshu Isle and eventually came to the Sentinel Coast, heading towards South Fleet. If he is allied with the Black Ram, by the gods, Bamboo Village doesn't stand a chance. Captain Dochen is somewhere inside the South Fleet complex now. He said to keep this operation a secret, but you have aided us before. I believe we need all the help we can get with this monster. I know you helped fend off the last Black Ram invasion, and we need your help once more. Find Captain Dochen and his guards. They went left at the fork at the platform ahead. Help them stop that giant. Hurry! Every minute matters! friend Chengun. I'm part of the rescue party for Lady Namsuyu. I know I'm not the big strong heroic type, but there's a very good reason for my being here. Really? Master Dodin is just so worried about his beloved sister. I couldn't bear to see him in that state, so I joined the team to bring her home. The daring rescue, uh, hasn't gone as well as we hoped. They're keeping Lady Namsuyu in that ship over there. Oh, it's just terrible. I can hear her terrified screams from here. Please, Champion, you must save me! Uh, her! Save her! I will faithfully cover this strategic rear position, as usual. Hurry! There's no telling what those brutes will do to that poor girl! You. Please, whatever you think you saw, you can't tell Papa Dochin. I thought that if I played along with these monsters, they'd spare me. If people thought I was... people would say things about me. Please don't tell Papa. I'm his world. This would break his heart. Wait, behind you, what's that? <laughs> C 
So, you survived after all, home moon whelp. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> she really does resemble her mother. <laughs> Think you're a match for me? You rescued Lady Namsuyu! You are a true hero. What happened in there? Snakeskin? In this weather? You. I think I'd remember something like that. She didn't pass this way. Don't worry. In my experience, horrible villains have a way of popping back up. I'll be on the lookout for this lady in snakeskin. You should head on back to town. I'm going to stay here with the guard and mop things up. Oh, one more thing. In her haste to return home, Lady Nam so you dropped this letter. Can you bring it back to her? It looks important. If I was Lady Nam so you, I'd be at the healing house. Look for her there. Oh, and do windstride back. It's a long hike, Jian. I will never forget your bravery. <laughs> <laughs> 